What is up? Oh my god! I, I just yelled into the mic. <laughs> I think I think I scared everybody. What's up, everybody? Uh, yeah. Hey. So we're back together. The the crew. The yes. Spectator crew is back together. Yes, we um, are. Whoa! Hey, you might want to there mute. I hear myself yeah. yelling. That's funny. So, anyways, we're back together. Uh, Carlos missed last week, and we had Mr. Mikey. Carpenko, he joined us. And, yeah, he did. He yeah. did a good job filling little, in. Little Thank you, Mikey. Mikey did good, a Rat Pack yeah. member. And, uh, no, I mean, it, it worked out really well. But, uh, man, it's nice to have you back, for sure. Thank you, bro. You're back. I'm glad to be back. And, and you know, it's, it's a perfect time because we're talking about something that's near and dear to your heart. Yes, sir. And that's tequila. Tequila, yes. I think we should start out, though, uh, just kind of saying hi, everybody. Hey, yeah. what's up, everybody? Uh, what's going on? So we have Mark. He says time for some Terramana. Yeah, so we're actually going to get to the Terramana tequila. That's something that we purchased. We're going to be using on the show today. Yes, and for those are. of you who don't know, it, and we'll talk about this in a little bit, it is the Rocks tequila. Yes, it is. I'm a huge fan of the Rock. We'll talk about that too. too. Yeah. Um, Kay, what's up? Uh, look at this. Kay's all happy. It's, uh, it's tequila day. <laughs> so <we're>, uh, <laughs> Kay said we're, all, we're backwards. I'm not backwards. Are we backwards? Are we? No, this is what we normally do, right? Yeah. Are we confusing people? I don't, I don't know. know. Apparently we're, I don't know. See, that's so, what happens. We're gone yeah. for two weeks and look what happens. Look at that. So, somebody confused. already recognized my shirt. Did they? Ariana said <laughs> the big D. The big D. Yeah. Yeah. Dallas, guys. Get your minds out of the gutter. Jeez. Yeah. What, what's wrong with these people, man? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Chris, uh, wow. All right. Uh, Ariana asked, where is Melinda? She's here. Karina, hey Karina, what's up? Arriba el tequila. Arriba el tequila, sí, si, señorita. Lawrence, look at this. Lawrence is all excited. Yeah. La Lawrence is one of those guys. He's yeah. in. He's in for everything that we yes, do. He is. He's in for every whiskey and winning episode. He's yes, in for our is. whiskey and winning group. He participates in everything. Two thumbs up for Lawrence. Yeah, and he's in our. Uh, what, what's that thing? That we, happy hour. The whiskey and winning yep. happy hour we do every he's single there. week. He's he there. Miss it. This guy doesn't miss shit, man. No, he doesn't. So kudos to you, man. We love yes. you, Lawrence. Thank you, Lawrence. What a rock star, Rob. Hey, what's up, my brother? Rob's always there too. Rob yeah. Clawiter. Yeah. yeah. Uh, where are you guys from? So, uh, yeah. Where are you guys at? Obviously. What tequila you have, or what are you sipping on? Yeah, John said, still sipping on my whiskey, Red Bush tonight, but I do love some tequila. Just can't tonight. You can't do some tequila. That's all right. All right. That's all right. We're hey, listen. Do tequila for you. <laughs> we, should we talk about what we've been doing yeah, for the last could. hour? Because yeah, we've been drinking. We were yeah. pre-gaming. Pre-gaming the pre-game. We, well, yeah. I was pre-gaming the pre-game, and, and then, then, and then the you showed up, and then the regular pre-game, and now we're just going to be drinking some tequila. But... What we were doing tonight is something that we're going to do on a future Whiskey and Winning episode because yes. I think this is the best way to taste and to test. And just to and get to compare. the variances of, yeah, and to of compare, the bourbons and whiskeys. To compare the whiskeys. Uh, so what we did is we took these cool little shot glasses. By the way, my parents got me these glasses for my birthday, and they have uh, like – what do you call like what do you call those guys? Like gangsters yeah, and gangsters on there. So you had like Al Capone. notorious notorious yeah. people uh, on the glasses. Al Capone is on my glass, right? That's I have a pretty boy Floyd on mine. <laughs> You're pretty boy Floyd. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey, I think whatever. These are so cool. So what we did is we went down this list of whiskey, and you guys can see the amazing amount of whiskey that we have behind us here. Yeah. We just did little taste testers of each one. So we would take uh, we do a uh, tiny, yeah, tiny uh, little bit. A whole lot of them. A whole lot of them, probably. <laughs> well, we went through a couple times, so yeah. probably fifteen or twenty, maybe. Mm -hmm. Just little taste testers. Yeah. It probably it probably equal to about. Let's just be real here. It's probably. We're not going to toot our horns. Six too much. shots. Yeah, maybe. Well, well maybe knows? maybe six shots. Enough but, to pregame us pretty good. Hell yeah. So anyways, and this is what we did is just, we just went through and we tested the whiskeys. And for some reason, just having a tiny bit without ice just gives you such a different the very viewpoint. Yep. Yeah. Just on every different whiskey. And man, I have some incredible whiskeys back here. Yes, we do. I mean, the, there's, at least, there's at least 15 back there. That I would say, 
are some of the best that I've ever had before. Top notch. By far. Yes. So, Mark's you from... You even have the damn Band-Aid back there, too. Yeah, we, we ain't drinking the damn Band-Aid. Don't know so, Mark, Mark said he's from New York and sipping on some Terramano. Right. There we go, Reposado. Rivas, where is Carlos from? I am from California 8, but my uh, parents are from Mexico. Oh, Mikey's on. Yeah. What's, What's up, Mikey? Mikey? Uh, Lawrence says he's got nowhere else to go. That's why he's on our show. That's, oh, that's not very oh, nice. That is, you know I, what, bro? I, we were just we're giving gonna, this guy yeah. credit. Yeah. And he's going to sit here and dog us that way. Yeah. I mean, come well, on, ain't man. nothing better to do than watch those I know. They're just going to watch these guys to bullshit about some whiskey and some <laughs> <Yeah>. tequila. <laughs> and who the hell knows what else. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, West Virginia for Josh. Oh, mom's on. Hi, mom. What's up, mom? What's Spencer? up, mom? Where's dad? Is he? Hey, listen, is dad? I talked to my dad earlier today, uh-huh. and mom told me. <laughs> mom was on the phone, and he, she said that dad's been drinking... Uh, two bottles of rum chata a week. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Rum chata. Like that stuff's that is some strong not strong. It's, it's not strong. It's just it's oh, I don't even know what to say about yeah, it to be honest you with know. you. And I feel it's like guilty cream. I started it. You did. I know. I know. You did. You started dad on some rum chata well, and now well, well technically <laughs> technically I got Mama Spencer on it. You got mom. No, that's true. You got yeah. Mama Spencer. Dad said, "Check his phone." So, uh, he, you know, you got mom. <laughs> look at, look at, here, we'll yeah. show this to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Show everybody. That's Dad drinking some rum chata. All right. So he loves his rum chata. Yeah. And he's been going through a couple bottles a week. He's he's like, man, I've been. He, he's so funny because he goes, man, I've been drinking every night. You know, I've had one or two drinks and I got home and I said, Dad. Yesterday, I started drinking at like noon. Yeah. I was like, I was day drinking all day. And then, <laughs> and then by the time, so Carlos and I, if you didn't see our Instagram and our Facebook yesterday, Carlos and I went and bought $500 worth, worth of whiskey of yesterday. Whiskey. And, and this is after I was four drinks deep and I was just doing it straight all day. I was getting some beach body work done and all kinds of stuff I'm doing. I'm doing investment properties and stuff. I was working on that stuff and I, all I was doing is just drinking. All day. And then you and I go and get these $500 worth of whiskeys. We come back and we try every single, single one of them. One. But it wasn't, it wasn't like just a little bit. It was full glasses, probably As one a and a half. As a matter of fact, it was these. It was these glasses and, and they were full. Yep. So by 6 p.m., <laughs> literally, I was trashed. Yeah. Trashed. We I mean, were both trashed. there was, there was, there was nothing I could do. I was just going to have to sober up at that point. It, was, it hit me hard, man. I'm not going to lie. I, it hit me hard. He texted me. What did you say to me? You said, are you, are you passed out is what you asked me. Or are you faded or something? I don't know. What no, you asked if I was passed out. And I said, no, I was playing some MLB The Show. That's right. Oh, yeah, because I was texting you and you weren't responding. But I was so drunk yesterday <laughs> that I literally, guys, and I don't know if you have played MLB The Show, but it's, it's a difficult game. Yeah. And it's kind of my fix because I'm we're missing baseball right now, but it's kind of my fix. I was like closing one eye just to see the ball coming in. Yeah. I struck out. I swear to you, I struck out every at bat for like 15 at bats in a row. <laughs> and then I don't know, man. It was just bad. So uh, John said might need to get Carlos's own mic. He sounds far away. I know. I think I think what we're gonna do, and you're right. And we have two. That's actually something I thought about the other day, but we have two little ports two here. Ports. So, so yeah, what I'll do is I'll run it. I'll buy another one, and I'll run it and set it next side. to you. Or well, what if we put it in front of us? Or we just put this damn thing in the middle here and just let it right here. Let it like sit right here. Like in between us? Yeah, so maybe. I don't know. We'll I mean, try it, guys. He'll, he'll talk louder. Yeah. He's okay with All that, right? Then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the deeper voice is great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, into it. Crystal is from Southeast Texas. So Southeast my, I'm curious, and Carlos is curious. We're both curious. What are you guys drinking tonight? Oh, let's say it. Before, okay. before, they, before they drink anything. Yes. Before, before we get intoxicated. You have to be of legal age yes. to drink. Okay? And I know, I understand, we understand that that varies from place state to place to state, from country well, to country not really state i think yeah. it's all 21 here in yeah, the united states so but country then so mexico right it's like 18 oh, yeah. canada's like 18 mexico might be 12 i don't know to be yeah. honest with you. mexico's like whatever you just bro. you just drink yeah yeah you just, just drink. make sure you have a 20 in your pocket to pay the guys when they pull you over <laughs> oh, 
I think it's going to be a lot more than 20. No, it's about I, 20, bro. Is it 20? Because oh, yeah. I've heard some crazy stories, man. Well, you know. Where they, you got you to gotta pay them off. Like, well, seriously pay them off. That's, uh, oh, Mikey says separate mics. All right, Mikey. We'll do separate mics. Yeah, we're going to. We're going to do separate mics, and it, it'll be easy. I'll order one this week and set it up right next to you, yep. and then you can kind of talk into that. It's not a huge deal because people can still hear you. you yeah. Know what I mean, so. Um, Cava de Oro. Cava de Oro. I have not heard of that one. I'm Karina. assuming that's a, that's a tequila, I'm right? I'm pretty sure it's yeah. a tequila. Uh, John said Latinos know how to talk loud <laughs> after tequila. Pour the man a drink. <laughs> we're, we're getting there, man. We're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, Mark said he's a whiskey drinker, and he has a fine bottle of Knob Creek, Creek 100 proof on the bar, which is amazing. Um, Knob Creek's okay. Yeah, we it's not. Him. It's not. It's not my favorite. No, I, I would drink it. Yeah, but after all the stuff that we've had, and Mark, I don't know how. I, I think Mark's been following us for a while, but I don't know how much you've been following us. But we we've been talking about some really good whiskeys that are better than Knob Creek for yeah. sure. Knob Creek is one of those ones. Kind of like it's kind of like a Maker's. Yeah, I would consider it. Yeah, a it's, it's like a Maker's. They're mass produced almost. Mass. Pro- I don't know, but it's okay. Yeah, it's okay, and and. I don't know. And we have some really good ones that don't break the bank that compete to the $150 bottles of whiskey we got back here. For sure. All day. And we'll talk about that yep. next week. I think yeah. what we're going to do next week, guys, is we're going to do kind of what we did today. Yep. And we're going to do samples. We're going to pick our 10 favorites. Right? Yes. You want to do 10? That's a lot. You want to do five? Well, let's do five. I think 10 should be for our episode number 10. Okay. So we'll do yeah. five. Five different whiskeys of our favorite whiskeys. That's what we say now, and then we're gonna. And then end we're gonna up end more. up with ten. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, well. but we'll give you an entertaining show, and we're gonna test some whiskeys. It's not a uh, the Bib and Tucker. Thank you. You are welcome, Kay. That is one of our favorites. Yeah, we, that's actually one we didn't have earlier. We well, did I did. Not. You did not. Oh, I see how it is. No, I did. Okay. Yeah. Hey, hey. I hey. mean, yeah. all right. It's all good. Uh, Crystal says she's drinking Glen Fodry. Yeah, twenty nine year. Twenty nine year. That must be some very. What is that? A scotch? scotch? I honestly don't even know it. I don't even know if. What is Glenn it, Crystal? Fo- yeah, you're, you're gonna have to inform us because I have no idea what what yeah. Glen Fodry is. Um, it started with Glen, so I'm guessing Scotch. By the way, I'm a big Scotch guy. Or is she talking about Glen Morangi? You think no. she's a, no? It no. could be like autocorrect. I don't know. No. Whatever. Glenn Fodry. But yeah, the, the, the Bibs and Tucker is good. So Josh said he's drinking some Jim Beam Devil's Cut tonight. Have you had the Devil's Cut? I have not. I haven't either. And I've heard some good things about it. But that's it's another one. It's kind of like Knob Creek or it's kind of like Makers. Makers. They're very mass produced and heavily advertised. I think to me, the best ones have been the ones that you don't ever hear about. Yeah, like we just walked like all, up there yesterday and all the stuff yep. that we tried ye- yesterday and even today, I would put it up there as some of the best that we've ever had. And yep. it's probably, I mean, uh, yeah, one of them was expensive. Well, a couple of them were pretty expensive, but yeah, but for the most part, they're not break, break the bank yeah. whiskeys for sure. Yeah. So Lawrence said it is a scotch and it's okay. good. Well, 29 year, I hope to God it's good. It better I mean, be I'm bad. just kind of curious what that thing costs. Man, yeah, um, I'm ready to drink because our ice is melting. So let's get right into it. Oh, hey, by the way, for those of you who are new, welcome to the Whiskey and Winning Show. This is episode number eight, and we are all about tequila tonight. Tequila. And it's kind of funny because people are probably sitting there wondering, well, this is whiskey. It's called Whiskey and Winning. Yeah. Why are you what? guys drinking good tequila? Because we don't discriminate. We do for not. For God's sake, we Carlos. We are not biased. We are not biased. We're not nope. prejudiced. Nope. We like all. Liquors equally. Well, okay. Say what on. you say. What you gotta say. Okay. Say it. Just. Say I it. would say I like my tequilas and my whiskeys equally. All right. So which one do you like better, tequila or whiskey? Oh. No. Nope. Okay. I you better say I the right answer here. I can't. I can't. I can't. No, you have I to. Can't. No, you have to. I have take, to. Take your best tequila and take your best whiskey. I. You know what? I enjoy whiskey more. Okay, me too. Yeah. I would say that. I think I think it's more flavorful. Yes. I'm not saying that there aren't some really good tequilas because what we're about to show you guys tonight and drink tonight 
holy shit. Yes. Like we're we're talking about the top of the top. We got Don Julio, 1942 22. here. Some crazy looking lamp. Clase azul reposado. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? What? <laughs> what you say? I didn't hear you. I said we got some crazy looking lamp. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh it's look like looks like a vase or something. The base, I don't know. Base, yeah. yeah. And then know? and then we got the rocks, terramana tequila, and we will talk reposado. about that. Reposado, that's right. So, so Crystal said definitely definitely not gin. Gin, we, yeah. I hate gin. Yeah, I don't. Okay. I'm For me, you. I can never, ever drink gin. I've tried no, it many no, times, and no. I just can't. I just it's, like, you know what I like about gin? Nothing. I just like it when it's I played on some rap song from Snoop Dogg. <laughs> gin, gin and juice. juice. <laughs> that's it. Really? That's all I like about gin. I'm mind on my money. <laughs> all right. I, all right, I agree so with that. So, what are we going to do, man? So, should we all start right. them with uh, Terramana? Terramana. Oh, yeah. We can't, we can't start, <laughs> we can't start mm-hmm. off with the top of the top. So, yeah. Right. We got to do Terramana Tequila. And for those of you who don't know, Terramana Tequila is the brand new tequila by The Rock himself, Mr. Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson. Johnson. And we are both big fans. Huge fans of this. I love this guy, man. He is, he is one of the coolest dudes. I don't know if you follow him over on Instagram or on social media. The guy is one of the coolest dudes, the, one of the biggest hearts in the world, one of the hardest workers I've ever seen. The guy works out like a freak. And he eats like a freak. That's crazy, too. Have you ever seen his cheat meals? Yes, bro. Holy shit. Yeah. His cheat meals, this guy will have stacks of pancakes and freaking French toast that are two like foot that. high. Yep. And he will eat the whole damn thing or a whole pizza by himself. That's how a cheat meal should be done. Yeah. So. But he busts his ass every He does. And, and he does. And he came out with this new tequila. And the guy has such a big following that it makes total sense. If if I had a following like that, I would come out with my own tequila yeah. or a whiskey as well. And it's, and it's weird because like we you and I've talked, he's a big Don Julio guy, and he came up with his own. So we were curious. I'm a big Don Julio guy myself, and I just wanted to see where his tequila compared to it, and it's it's pretty damn good. It is good. And all right, let's let's drink because right. I'm sobering up, and I don't want to sober up. Cheers. Cheers, man. So initially, let's talk about the the smell. The aroma. Okay. So for my avid uh, tequila drinkers, it doesn't give you the same agave smell as a regular Don Julio or Patron or whatever. But it's... It's so good, man. It is really good. Mm. Super smooth. For being a reposado, it's very, very smooth. Um, so talk about the difference because I didn't know this. Okay. I'm, I'm not so, a huge tequila guy. So talk about yeah. so reposado. Everybody knows you have your Blanco... You have your reposado and you have your añejo. And then you start getting into your extra filtered añejos, your double añejos, extra añejos. But me personally, I'm an añejo. So reposado is aged, but it I, I don't know exactly the amount, the time span of aging. But then once you start getting to añejo is when you start talking about the years. Okay, so for example, the 42 is an añejo. It's a like big time aged. These are reposados with sit in the barrel, but they only sit for X amount of time. So how long do you think the Terramana was, has been sitting in the barrel since it's a Probably, brand new company? Yeah, I mean, it just Couple barely years. started. So, you know, they, I'm pretty sure they did. I think someone just said there, uh, just came out in March. So came out in March. They have to have been working on this project for at least two years to be able to come out with a reposado um, tequila. But guys, for... I think the one liter, which was odd, because everything is either 750 or one, 1.5 or 175. This was actually a one liter. For the price, super flavorful. I could sip on it. And it, it. doesn't I, burn. N- not at all, guys. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to go out and say this. It doesn't taste like this. Okay. It doesn't taste like it, but it smells like Jose Cuervo to me. Well... It smells like it. I'm not saying it tastes like it, but it smells like Jose Cuervo. And that's the difference with tequila. Tequila, you're really going to get your... The smells, it's agave. It's all made out of the same thing, you know? So the distillery, the the process of of doing it and all that is going to change it. But all tequilas essentially should smell about the same. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. You know, I just I mean, don't know. You know yeah. what I mean? I, but whiskey is my specialty. But it's tequila yeah. is not. Yeah. And but once you sip it, that's when you get the 
totally different because oh, we've yeah. had we've had all of these yeah. and it's so different. I'm gonna tell you right now, I've had a lot of tequila in my days. I really have. I've drank a lot of tequila. This is one of the smoothest tequilas that I've had. It is super smooth. It guys. it honestly is as smooth as Don Julio. And if, for those of you who drink yeah. Don Julio, Don Julio is one of my favorite. Yeah. And we're actually we drinking. Drink, we the, drink the Don Julio seventy all the time. Which is which is an incredible. Yeah. By the way, yeah. I mean, but the regular Don Julio. What is the regular Don Julio? Uh, so the there's Don Julio the same. You have your Don Julio Blanco, your Reposado, your Añejo. And then the 71 is where it's double filtered, and that's how they get the, the color. Because if you see the color in this, it's got a yellowish tint. Yeah, it does. So when you get into the Añecos, they've been sitting in the barrels longer, so the, the tone is darker. Because of the... Because they're grabbing the, the, from the wood. The wood, yeah. Yeah. So when they... when the Yeah. That, they're, <laughs> that's exactly what she said. She's grabbing the wood. Yeah. You gotta always grab the wood. Yeah, grab the wood. It's great too. Yeah. Hey. But you're right. I mean, in in this thing, this is so smooth. It's so smooth. I, I'm gonna tell you, The Rock did an incredible job. He did. I gotta, as I, someone who drinks tequila, for the the bang for your buck on this, guys, for sure. It's it's really really good. What did it say, Mark? Mark, have you tried the Blanco? I have not, you know, I'm, uh, Mark, I'm really not a big Blanco guy, but what, what is he talking about? The Don Blanco, Julio Blanco? I uh, believe the Terramana Blanco. Is it, I didn't know that there was a different, yeah, so I thought have, it was just he one. He came out with the Blanco and the Reposado. What's the difference? The Blanco is just straight and then the Reposado is, is what like does that mean? Aged. Oh, so that's why, so it's, it's probably clear, right? Yeah. It's completely Blanco, clear. White, Blanco, yes. Because tequila initially comes out in that color. Okay. So, okay. no, and I'm sure, I'm assuming that's cheaper than a little bit it in the Reposado. Yes. yes. And kind of like with whiskeys or with scotches. Scotches it kind of goes the same way like tequilas. The longer they're aged, the, the more money they are. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's that's everything. Yeah. Whiskey, scotch, yeah. rum. But you know what? On, on, on regular whiskeys and bourbons, we really never pay attention to saying, hey, it's... Uh, seven year, you know, like you do with scotches. Scotches is big time. You're really looking at the years. No, that's true. Yeah. You know, I, and this is way off topic, and I'm sitting yeah. here and thinking about the Evan Williams single barrel, single barrel that we were drinking earlier. That was freaking amazing. It's amazing. Yes. Guys, if you have not had Evan Williams any, single barrel. Any Evan Williams is great. I mean, if that's you're, our mixer. If you're doing a mixer, yeah. Evan Williams is what? 20 bucks, maybe 18 bucks, 16 bucks. I, it's something it's like 60 bucks. You can get a huge bottle for 16 or 20 bucks, just depending on where you are. But if you want something that's better from Evan Williams, and it's so crazy that people, people think that Evan Williams is such a, a, I guess a cheap whiskey. The quality of Evan Williams, I would match with just about anything that we drink. I Honestly. I told you before, I'll drink Evan Williams before I drink Jack. Depends on what kind of Jack though. That is true. After what we oh sampled God. today, we'll talk about that in another episode because yeah. that was some good stuff. But the yeah. Evan Williams single barrel compared to some of the top whiskeys that we were drinking earlier today. And by the way, we haven't seen what you guys are drinking. Only a few of you have commented what you're drinking. Yeah. What are the rest of you guys drinking tonight? Because if you're on the show and you're not drinking, what the hell are you doing? Yeah. Well, I mean, what, I mean, the, we are entertaining, but you got to be drinking I know, something. We are entertaining, but it's better when we're, when they're drinking. Yeah. We're it's more better when we're all drinking. When we're all drinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. So, what are you guys drinking tonight? And obviously, you got to be 21 years or you know of legal age. Um, and by the way, for everybody that's new, welcome to the Whiskey and Winning Show. Make sure that you guys smash that like and follow button. Um, and by the way, if you guys do emojis, well, what do you call them? Like, um, not emojis, but likes and all that stuff during the show. It definitely helps us get get shown uh, more yeah. on the news feed. So if you guys could do that for us, we'd really appreciate it. We're trying to get our show out there to people. Uh, I think it's been tremendously beneficial to this point. I know we have we have an, and by the way we have an incredible group, a uh, very exclusive yes, group called the the Whiskey and Winning. It's a private group. If you guys want to join, it's you, it's literally just go to my page. It's free to join. Just search for it, the Whiskey and Winning group, and we do a lot of stuff in there, man. I mean, mm -hmm. we're doing videos in there. We talk about different whiskeys that we like. We're giving tips. We're sharing articles and stuff of whiskeys that 
uh, that are top rated. But uh, if you guys want to be a part of that group, all you got to do is just request to join and we'll add you. There's no fee or anything to be a part of the group. We would love to have you in there, but make sure that you guys, uh, make sure you like the page, make sure you follow us because we do these episodes every Thursday at 7, 7 PM, PM central, central time. We haven't, well, we did miss one. Well, we yeah. did miss one a couple weeks ago, but yeah. rightfully so. Um, but we're back and we don't plan on missing another one for a nope. long time now. I don't, uh, I don't even think we plan on missing one. No, we'll even, we, we'll we even never take plan. it on the road. Hell we'll yeah, we'll take road. it on the road. Hey, <laughs> by the way, yes. we might be doing it at our new place here in yes, the next sir. month or so. Yes, sir. So for those of you who haven't seen on social media, mm -hmm. we are looking at an investment property slash vacation home in Florida. And we are very, very, very close to pulling the trigger and closing on this place. And that'll be our, that'll be our getaway spot. Yes. It's just a little party place. And Boom. we will do our whiskey and winning episodes from that place. We will. You know what we, we should will. do? One of these times we should, if we can get Wi-Fi, somehow we can get Wi-Fi, we should set it up on the damn beach. Like at a tiki bar on the beach, and we can get yep. everybody at the tiki bar involved. Just to get in. I guarantee you we could, too. You know what? At that hub place. Hell yeah. Oh, we yeah. should do it. So We got some stuff planned for you guys. Uh, Kay asks, how's little man? Dude, he is... Okay, he is doing amazing. He Bro Bro is a champ. He is a champ and he, he's a little G. He's got some badass scars. Like yeah. some really cool <laughs> scars I'm jealous of. Like I'm just not gonna lie, but he's healing up really, really well. And he's I mean, even since day two, honestly, the day after everything happened, he freaking was running around outside. He asked to ride his bike on day two, and I let mm -hmm. him. I really did, I let him. So he's doing really well. Thanks for asking, Kay. Um, uh, Crystal said hotspot cell phone. We could do that. The only problem, it, it, the amount of juice that we pull doing these shows, because you guys can't see what we have set up yeah. here. I mean, I got a software program that's run, running right now, and we have a bunch of lights, and we have very professional cameras that we, uh, webcams that we set up. I don't know how you know what well we would, a webcam or a hotspot would work. What We could just get out of either Sprint or Verizon, just get the actual portable internet. I think we would be able to do it and plug it straight into the computer. We could do that and just yeah. do it on the beach. Yeah. The only the only issue we'd, we'd have with that would be the sound because of the wind yeah. and the waves. But that's a – what a terrible sound to hear. Yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, you got to hear the waves. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> you got to see the little crabs running around. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So she said get, get got access to a condo near there. Uh – Elise said, dude, you have my ter have to try Terramana. Who? Elise, she just joined. She doesn't know I'm what we're sorry, drinking. Elise, you. right now, that's what we're drinking. Well, that's what I was drinking. You were? Oh, shit. Yes, sir. Shit. Yes, I ain't playing I'm no sla I'm slacking. Yeah, you are. I just but didn't want to call you out on, on black. You, but, you know, hey, you can't do that to me. I, of course not. Well, you can't because. Because you were started before me. An yes. hour before you, bro. Okay. Right. An hour. It's all right, bro. I sampled 15 whiskeys before you got here, and then I did them again because Cause you, you're I, was, I was thinking of you. Yeah, bro. All right. That's the way we do it. That's how we here. do it. So. Okay, so Crystal said, right. I live in the country, air card, okay, and the windscreen. <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. We can do that easily. Yep. I think we might have to do it. A slacker. <laughs> she said slacker. <laughs> Uh, Elise said she loves it so smooth. Totally agree with you, Elise. Yes. Uh, so for the ones that are just joining yeah, in. Th this is what we're drinking right now is the rock, here. the rock's new tequila Terramana. Yeah. And okay. Can I, I'm going to be Can we honest. talk about the back? Well, hold on. Right, we'll it. talk about that in a second, but I want to be honest with you. I was super skeptical going into this with this, because if you, if you think about any, any liquor, that mm -hmm. has been promoted by a celebrity. Yeah. It's been shit. Because who, who else had another tequila? Which I have not tasted, so I cannot, I uh, and I can't talk, but I think George Clooney and yeah, someone else. Yeah, George Clooney. I don't know, but, but yeah, just shit. Yeah, but I'm going to tell you right now, guys, if you want a good tequila, and by the way, we need to, we need to somehow like become reps for these people or yeah. something because yeah, we like recommend it. so many things but yeah can someone share to the rock what we're doing yeah, on yeah right show? Yeah. somebody tag the rock please yeah. and just let them know that we're talking about his damn tequila but yeah. terramana tequila rock you rock man seriously this stuff is it. absolutely incredible um 
you know, we, we are very hard <laughs> on a lot of whiskeys and we a lot are. of liquors, and this stuff is is incredible. It's so smooth, so flavorful. Rock, you did an incredible job. Yep. And he will never see this. But but it's okay. Nonetheless, it is a great freaking yeah. tequila. So all right. So let's talk about the back, because I thought that was hilarious. Okay, so but only the ahead. rock would have done it. Bring it up. It. You get you go. All right. So, well, you well let, pause. All right. The rock is super health conscious. Yes. <laughs> Obviously, the guy works out like a freak. Now go. Yeah. All right. So, I've never seen a tequila or alcohol that emphasizes on all the ingredients like this one did. So he's talking about the calories, carbohydrates, sugars. And it's gluten free. <laughs> Gotta put that in there. Yeah, has it's, to be gluten free. It's gluten free. Yeah. So, other than all that, I mean, guys, awesome tequila, and I'm a tequila drinker. Okay. So. So, and what's crazy is we're comparing it to. Oh yeah. Two of the top of the top because in in our like for me yes obviously there's higher end tequilas that I've had but I think for. Not break the bank tequilas. These two are great. So, um, Mike said Casamigos is pretty good. Okay, so that's what it is. That's what George Clooney is. Is that, that his? Yeah, that's it. There's. So I've oh, never had it. I don't know if it's How good. How is it though, Mikey? Is it good? Have you no, had I've, it? No, I've had it. You've had Casamigos? It's not that. It's okay. It's, yeah, uh, it's, a, right. it's an average tequila. So, what do you want to do, man? Do you want to bring out Mr. <sighs> DJ? Okay, no. So, Oh, man. So, do we stay reposado, reposado into Añejo? Yeah. All right. So. But this is, guys, oh. this is, by the way, this is my birthday gift from Carlos and Veronica. Okay. Yes. This is what they got. Excuse me. I'm burping. Like, oh, that's all right. So, for those of you who don't know what this is, this is Clase Azul. And uh, I was introduced to this by, I think it was a birthday present for me, bro. So, let's... Uh, birthday present Yeah, this, I think someone bought me this for a, for a birthday. It wasn't me. No. Um, but, oh, shit. obviously the bottle's pretty cool. Um, you can use it, use it as a vase afterwards. But, the flavor, guys amazing so look at that we got some fresh ice yeah we can't we All can't right. be doing it that way so this right. is a reposado it's not an añejo um what is it called clase Cla azul clase or clase like, like C -L -A uh, blue class oh clase clase, clase. Yeah. clase what does clase azul. mean clase means class just class yeah blue <laughs> class okay all right. Thank so, you for clearing that hey, up. Hey, all right, bro. So. Oh, that's way darker. You see that? Yeah. Which is crazy. And this is this Where is. Are we, are we good? I'm getting better at this poor stuff, bro. So this is. Uh, okay, so let's go with smell first. But, okay, smell. It's a little different. This is sweeter. It smells sweeter to me. Let me see. Definitely. But do you see? No, agave it's a little smells... bit different, but it's still the same. Yeah, it's, it's it's the same agave smell. smells like But agave. It, let's talk about price point. What are we talking about for this? Okay, so this is, in some places, 100 bucks. Most places, about 130 versus Terramana, uh, 50 bucks. So we're talking reposado to reposado. Okay, okay. so... Okay. All right. Yep. Karina said my accent is good. Thank you. I've been working right. on it every day. There you go. Yeah. He, his boy's a Mexican, so. <laughs> I've been learning from the best. Yeah. So. You taste the difference? Whoa. Okay. <laughs> right? There's no comparison. Right? Do you get the sweet hints the, at the very end? Why is that? That is as sweet as some of the whiskeys that we have. Yeah. Why? Why is that? Is it just more? What? It's what just, would cause? It would have to be okay, in the process. You. Bro. You have to. Okay. And I, maybe I'm putting you on the spot here. And mm -hmm. probably no, this no, is, no, 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 no. What makes the processing of tequila different than whiskey? What is different? 
I, I don't know the full Shit. details. We should have looked that up. We should have. That was, hey, does anybody out there yeah, know? So, somebody on, has man. to know. Yeah. But she says, say arriba, abajo, al centro, al centro, y, yeah, y para so, adentro. Okay, so us, right. us, us Mexicans, okay. Mexi- actually, Mexicans, Mexicans, we, right. whenever we're going to take shots, we'll say like arriba, mm-hmm. abajo, al centro, y para adentro. Okay, so, so it's up, basically up, down, down, center, center, and in. In. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. What about that? What do you think Thank about you, that Karina. flavor? Uh, it's better. So? Uh, it's better than that. It's better uh, than Taramana. Yeah. In my opinion. Oh, like. I think it's better. Yeah. But it's also triple the price. Yeah, so you could get three Taramanas with one of these. Well, maybe two of these. Two of those for one of these. Wow. But ain't that delicious? I'm I'm really curious what the difference is between the distilling process between whiskeys and tequila. Could I really it possibly am. be the actual plant, the actual agave, where the agave? Because you know this is basically a plant. You think Look, so? So you think that? So you're saying that the process is maybe similar. Maybe similar, but, but they use different different agaves, different qualities. Different qual. Okay. Well, they, well, agave. I don't think they use agave in whiskey, do they? I don't mm-hmm. think so. They don't use agave in whiskey. No. Right? They use sugar cane. They sugar well, cane. sugar cane and rum. Yes. That's big in rum, but what yeah. do they use to sweet whiskeys? I don't know. I don't know. But either. doesn't, maybe if they use like a corn mash? The corn. That's yeah. what it is. You're right. Yeah. It's the corn. So yeah. it's it's just the different ingredients, I think, that it goes into. But I think so, Karina, somebody has to know. thank you for correcting me. It is that way. Center, sh- center is out because you are toasting oh. and cheering with everybody. Oh. I like this Karina girl. All right. Thank you. Karina's a rock star. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So what do you think, bro? I think it's incredible. I really do. I, this is so good. I'm really curious how it's going to compare to the Don 1942 because the Don 1942 is one of my favorite tequilas. Yeah. It's, it's been my go-to every single time. Yeah, so Karina said that tequila is made from the blue agave, right? We knew that. Mm-hmm. And then the whiskey is made from the grains. Okay, and that's, that's what we figured, right? Yeah. Um, Courtney, hi, Courtney. Courtney said that they have tequila at their favorite tequila bar here in Key West, and it's the best. She lives in freaking Key West, dude. That's got to be awesome, She's a, Yeah, she's a coach on my team, and she's just posting beach pictures all the time and her at the pool all the time. Maybe one of these days we're just going to have to invade her. Just go just down to pop, Key West boom. and visit. Yeah. yeah. Courtney, we're going to come see you, yeah. all right? So Carlos and I are going to come down, and we're going to yeah. do a show with Courtney. Hey, there you go. There you Spink go. the Taros are going to roll into Key West. Whiskey and winning show yeah. with Courtney in Key, West. in Key West. By the way, have you ever been to Key West? I have not. I haven't so either. That's, and it's, that's on one of it's my one, lists. It is. It's, it's yeah. on a bucket list, bucket list item. I yeah. can't even talk now. It's, it's damn right. whiskey. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's a bucket list item. I'm going to go down there. I want to just spend some time. I just never had the opportunity to do it because every time that we go – Anywhere in the Caribbean area, it's always to St. Lucia or Grand Cayman, you know, or mm-hmm. somewhere at the, the Virgin Islands. It's never to the Key West area. But I would love to go down there. Me too. All so, right, we got to go down there. Yeah, we must. Okay. Tequila is the only distilled beverage that is not aged in oak barrel. Oh. Whereas whiskey must be aged in new oak. That is true. We know that. Mm-hmm. Mikey Carpanko said it's a fun fun place down there in Key West. So we have to go. We have Mikey, maybe we even do a huge rat pack down there. I would love to go down there. I mean, we could always Mike. So Mikey's been talking about doing a rat pack trip to, um, Cabo in Mexico. Oh, you ever been to Cabo? I have been. Oh man. Cabo is one of my favorite places. So we went to Cabo Gully, man. It was probably a 2011. It was for a beach body trip with that. We won. Mm-hmm. Cause, so the top three people for the beginning of the year, uh, like producers or whatever, we mm-hmm. had a free trip to Cabo in Mexico. It was at a five-star place called the Grand Marquis Resort or something like that. So uh-huh. we went down there, and we went to this bar, and they literally, I kid you not, man, they literally hang you upside down. Oh, they, man. Yes. So they, <laughs> they tie it around your ankles, yeah. and, they up, and you do a shot upside down yeah. of tequila. So, it was one of the coolest things that I've ever done in my life, for sure. And, 
Rosarito. Ensenada and Rosarito, like Papa's and Beer and those places down there. Yeah, that's uh, for sure. Or those, so basically bring the funnel with the tequila and then spin your freaking head around. Yeah. We went, and that's what they did. Yeah, they, they, yeah, there was all kinds yeah. of shit that we did. But we went to a place, there was another place, it was a hole in the wall bar. But this hole in the wall bar slash restaurant was ranked number one in TripAdvisor for places to visit for food and stuff. And it was, it, seriously, it looked like a hole in the wall. You walked in, this, I'm telling you right now, the food, the Mexican food that I had down there was the best that I've ever had. Until and the you drinks. Had, until you had Mama V's. Okay. <laughs> All right. Them damn brisket tacos. I do I do love to me some brisket tacos. Senor Frogs. Yeah, yes, Senor ma'am. Frogs is a cool place. Yep. Yep. We so we used to go to Myrtle Beach every single year for a family vacation and So there's Senor Frogs in Myrtle Beach. There is. Huh? So, so oh, we used wow. to go to Senor Frogs and we met a really cool guy. We met a guy down there named Carlos. Really? And he worked at at Senor Frogs and we've become we I mean we talked to this guy for years, probably uh-huh. fifteen years now. Really? But every time we go in there, even if it was totally packed, Carlos we go up to and say, Hey, we're here to see Carlos. <laughs> and Carlos would come out, Hey, you we got a table right for you right now. So we go and sit down. But Senor Frogs is a really cool fa- place. They have a really cool Senor Frogs at uh Cozumel. Really? Yeah, so we went on a cruise, another beach body cruise. Uh, another beach by trip as a cruise and we went to Cozumel and I'm pretty sure that there was a it was a senior frogs that right out, right after you got off the ship the senior frogs and it was one of the coolest places that ever been clubs in. or restaurants or whatever you want to call them are pretty cool they are really cool yeah they are really yeah. cool yeah Ooh, so miss Karina Riva said you haven't tried my food Oh, oh, you challenging Mama V I don't know Karina man no Karina's gonna have to visit or we're gonna yeah. go visit and have we're gonna to have to do a run out to Texas. We'll do it we'll do a little uh we'll do a little a taste stop competition. Yeah. Do a little Mexican food yeah. competition. Karina, I love me some Mexican food, yeah. by the way. Karina, what uh, part of Mexico are you from? I'm curious. So by the way, Karina is a regional rep for Beachbody. So mm. she works with a lot of the top coaches and training them and whatnot. Nice. So I just met her probably about a month ago. And uh, she's connected me with some people that are newer to the business. And uh, mm-hmm. she actually, one of, one, of, one of the people on my team is Latino. Uh-huh. And had me connect with her, which is funny because I've talked to her before. But, <laughs> but yeah, but yeah. Uh, the guy in the blue shirt is hot, Melinda said. Way to go, Ninja. The one, I, the I, one with the big D on his yeah, shirt? Yeah, I, I think that's what Ninja wants is the D. Hey. Oh, 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 I'm just saying. Oh, oh. Look at her. Look, we're looking at her, and she has no idea. Look. So Karina Rivas is from Guadalajara, las mujeres más hermosas de México. Look, look she's gonna look at. It. It's like yeah. ten second delay. Hold on, here yeah, it comes. Here it comes. Oh, look. Ready, 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 ready. One, oh, two, is she, look, she's texting. She's texting. There it is. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> she's waving. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh. Man. That was funny. Josh, uh, Karina said Guadalajara, a la, mm-hmm. Las Mujeres Más Hermosas de Mexico. So, so the women, Guadalajara is known for okay, women so, have tapatio eyes. But I'm sorry, Karina, but the women in Michoacán are a lot better. I'm just saying. Hey. Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? Huh? What are you What are you guys talking about? I, so, so Las Mujeres, the women, the women are from very... Guadalajara. Okay, Guadalajara, Mexico. That's what, mas Mexico. hermosas. What's yeah, mas hermosas? Those are the most beautiful. More beautiful. Yeah, the more beautiful women in Mexico, of Mexico. are from Guadalajara. So the most beautiful, what she's saying is the most beautiful from yeah. women from Mexico are, okay. And I contradicted her and I said the most beautiful women are from Michoacan, which is where Mama V's from. Oh, That's where I'm Michoacan. From. Michoacan. Her grandma's from there, she said. Oh, okay. So you know... See, you know, Karina. Josh said he wants to get back into Beachbody once my foot heals. Dude, whenever you're ready, man, I'm here. Oh, Veronica said, hey, guys. <laughs> like, they're not outside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they could totally see us. Look, bam. Yeah, right. Look at, look at him. Look at him. <laughs> There's, they're 10 seconds behind us. So yeah. look at, they're looking at us like, oh, wait, wait. They're going to look up. Yeah. And they're going to be like, oh, they're going to start laughing yeah. here in a second. Yeah. Ready? Uh, hold on. Well, hold on. Uh, they're going to watch yeah. it. See, there, there it is. is. Uh, oh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> We've got a live audience, guys, out in the oh, patio. Oh, they're, they're outside on the patio. 
Oh, it was so funny. Salud, she said. So, All right. Salud. by the way, okay, Crystal. let's drink this because I love this. This is, I mean, wasn't this not awesome? Okay, it's better than Termona. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's no comparison. No. Wow. It is so delicious. Wow. Bro. It's so smooth and super smooth. So flavorful. Flavorful, little sweet. Very hit. sweet. Yeah. The All agave, right. especially. Yeah. Right. All right. So we win Terramana in honor of our our boy, uh, The Rock, which we both like, to uh, my favorite tequila of all times, Don Julio 1942. That's what that bad boy right there looks like. Okay. So let's talk about in the Don Julio chain. Yes. This is probably, what is this, the top? This is, is this the second top? to the top. Ooh. Yes. Whoa. I already told what you, you. What? I you have not told, told me you. shit. Yes, I have told you. I had to been drunk. I have told you. We were probably drunk when we were talking about this. Fair enough. But I told you All right. on a super special occasion, you and I are going to break open a bottle of Don Julio Gran Real. Gran Real. Real. Okay, okay. so we got a... Which is real grand. Yes. Okay, that's, so. That would be Don Julio's top of the line. It's in a right. crystal enclosure, and it's basically an agave plant. How much is that? Mm, $350, okay, $400. That's, bucks. But it's, we can, it's manageable. Yes, it's very manageable. Okay? All and right. I have had that two times in my life. But this one here. Here, you do the honors, man. I did I did the class that school. You do that one. So we bought this yesterday. Yes. And I'm going to tell you guys, Don Julio, just in general, is one of my favorite tequilas. Yes. If I'm going to a bar and I'm doing shots, I'm doing Don Julio because that thing is as smooth as smooth comes. Even though yes. I probably shouldn't be shooting it, but I do because I it's so smooth. It is very smooth. Whoop. Ooh, you hear that? Oh, man. All right. All right. Do the honor, sir. You see how the color's even darker? No, nah, it's about the same as the last one. Huh? It's darker, bro. Really? Yeah. So the only reason why this one would be darker is because it's been sitting in the barrels a lot longer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. a little bit off. Tiny, All right. Tiny bit. All right. All right, so it's been sitting in the... How, how many years is the Don 1942 aged? Do you know that? I don't know it. I believe it's five. I could be wrong, though. John said the Don 1942 is the best he's had. So, All right, John. Five years? It's got to be more than five years, right? It, it really isn't because you got to remember, it, if, the, if your base is already good, it's not really going to take much to even bring different profiles. What's crazy is this one, they decided to keep it in its original color. As in the 70, which is the smaller bottle that we drink all the time, that one is distilled again, and it takes the color out. So it's like extra clear. Hmm. All right. Yeah. It smells different to me. Right? It smells different than both of those. Doesn't this smell sweeter? It smells sweeter. Right? Well, it's going to be it's uh -oh. gonna be interesting. Marcus is saying we're not even, bro. Uh-oh. Are we not even? Marcus is right. Let me see it. Oh, Marcus. Marcus. All right. Damn. Damn, bro. What, what happened? No, just the hair. Just the hair? All, All right. right. Are we good? What do you think? Can you get any no, more that's even good. than that? All right. Okay. Hey. Marcus, what's okay, up, buddy? So Karina told us it's aged for two and a half years. You know what? That's the re real is aged for five. Okay. That's kind of crazy to me. Huh? It's kind of crazy to me that yeah. it's only two and a half years. It's only two and a half years. Because okay. if you if you think about really good smooth whiskeys, it's, it's at least got to be five years. Yes, in my opinion. Hi. Oh. Okay. So the guys, kiddos got to get a crack out of this. So the kiddos, my kids and Spencer's kids, decided to do a lemonade stand, and they've have. Totally been killing it out in the neighborhood. Crushing it. Yeah. 
So they ran out of cups. Yeah, they ran out. I of gave cups. them a whole package of cups. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rock stars. Yeah. Little little right. business people. Hey, we'll take it. Makes me so happy. Cheers, Cheers man. Cheers. So let's go. So so much sweeter smell for sure. Right. Oh my gosh. So let's see. Okay, this is weird. I it wanna... tastes exactly the same. Hmm? It's so similar to that. To the other one? Yep. Yeah. Not as sweet, though. I would say that. I would say that. A hair less I, sweet. I say Clase Azul is sweeter. That's sweeter. This has a better flavor. This, you could taste the agave more. I like the aftertaste with this one better than yes. I like that. But at the same time... I think that's as good. I, w I would I would call these equal in my opinion. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. because you can't compare them. They're they're totally different flavors. So there's a company, okay, which Lawrence, who doesn't have nothing better to do but to watch us, decided to pick up Avion Forty Four, which to me is a complete replica of Don Julio, but I've never had their product. But they basically based their whole line on Don Julio. The bottles look the same. Everything looks the same. Okay, you want to hear something nuts? What? This is this is out there. All right. I get a very bland cocoa taste at the end. Cocoa. Yep. Really? Yep. At the end. Let me see. Not not initially. But you know what I'm talking about? Not not you know the, mm -hmm. not the chocolate, like not the sweetened chocolate, but the the cacao or whatever. Yeah, cacao. I get that at the end, and I have no idea why. But, but compared to that, I don't I don't get that with that. I get it with this. Just a hint of it at the end. So, damn, this is hard for me to admit. Between this one, I get more flavor. Mm -hmm. But I think that's smoother. See, I would disagree with you. Really? Yeah, okay. I would disagree. I don't. I don't think. I don't think that's. I think. I think they're both as as smooth as it comes. Yeah. I don't. You don't get the cacao taste at the end. The very the very end, like Hold on. after. You know what? Okay. I might need to take another. I need to take another drink. All right, let me see. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it's just no, 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 no. You're yeah. onto something. Okay, I thought so. I get, I get a little bit of cacao, and I'm not sure why. Just at the end there. That's weird. It's weird, and it, I guarantee you, it has nothing to do with it either. It's just the way it's. Honestly, though, I really think Glace Azul is. Smoother. Hold on, we got to do something. What? No, we got to do something. Where's All my, right. where's my shot? Give me your shot glass. We're gonna do it the right way. Oh. We're gonna do it the right way. Where's your shot glass? Where'd I don't you know. It? It's in there somewhere. You, oh. Remember, I'm Pretty Boy Floyd. That's what she said. Yeah. Pretty Boy Floyd? Yeah, that's what that's what it is. All right, let me find it. Go ahead and talk while I find your. Drink. All right. If not, just rinse any other one. We ain't got coronavirus over here. Pretty Boy Floyd? Machine Gun Kelly. Ninja was Machine Gun Kelly. Bugsy Seagal. Nope, that wasn't me. Lucky Luciano. Hey guys, so what are you guys drinking out there? Come on. Where is your damn shot glass? Oh, you know what, bro? It might be because it's over here. No, is that why? <laughs> yeah, look. Give me your damn shot Pretty boy Floyd. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. We got to do it the right way. All right. We're doing it the right way. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit like we did the whiskeys. Okay. Which one I'm you want to start you. with? Which one you want to start so with? We're already here. No ice, because the no ice, ice dilutes it. Yes. All right. I would agree. So let's start here. All right. All right. Let's go. Good. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. All right. All right. All right. There we go. Okay. 
Drink number one, Don Julio, 1942. Straight, though. No ice. No ice. No ice. No ice. No ice. Okay, let's go. John said he's making money. <laughs> we ain't got no coronavirus. Mm. You know what's so crazy? How much smoother this is without ice. I'm still getting the cacao taste. Hmm? Even more without the ice. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking? Do you see what no, I'm no, talking no, no. about? I, I get because it. Because I, I, I have no idea why I'm getting that that taste in my mouth. But when by I by the way, real cacao is not sweet. So everybody's no, it's not. Sweet. It's no. very bitter. It is. Okay. But I get that. I get that with this. I yeah. really do. I taste it. So what's weirdest to me is right, why is this smoother? All right, we're coming out. Glacia Azul. And what were you saying? What were you saying? What I was saying is I feel like it's smoother without ice versus the ice. Hold mm -hmm. on, I'm being a little punk. That. You better match that up. Marcus Lawrence is watching. He's gonna Marcus, tell us something. Marcus, Jesus. Oh God. <laughs> really, bro? Your turn. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> you do not want me to do that right now. All right. All right. Golly, go. I did not want to go to bed drunk tonight, and here I am because of your fault. All right. It's always my fault. It's cool though. It's all good. Come on, let's do this. All right. Let's see. Okay, so are you going to agree with me or not? I am. No, I know what you're going to say, yes. What What am I going to say? That one is smoother. That one has better flavor. Yeah. I agree. Guys. I agree. If you're going to do it to guys. As, as yep. much as it hurts my soul to say, Glace Azul is the best that it's, we've, it's, is better than Don 1942. Yes, it is. It is. Flavor is better. It's smoother. It's smoother. Yep. Sweet hints. Sweeter, much sweeter. Well, a little bit sweeter. Glace Azul, John. Wow. So, hold on. Wow. John wants to know what this one is. We'll put it up in the camera. What did you say the price point was? 100, uh, 100 to 130 bucks. Okay, so very similar to Don. Don was... Very. What did I spend on Don? About 100 and... No, about the same. Oh, was it the same? That's crazy. Because yeah. this is a Reposado... And that's and an, an añejo. And so this is could better. you only imagine what the four hundred dollar of this one? Must There's be? a four hundred dollar yes, one of that. Bro, and it, uh, the base is black. Oh, uh, we gotta get it. Yeah, we got to. That that is gonna be a. You know what it's gonna be? It's gonna be a Blanton's gold type of situation, only on birthdays. Yes. Yes. Or some crazy special occasion. For like, the for all of you who have tuned in, don't know like this guy and I like wow. to really splurge. On our birthday, special, special occasions. Special, anything special. Yeah, right. so we really like to have certain amount, certain liquors available on those special occasions. And so we are going to add Don Julio Real. Wow. We're going to add the Añejo from Clase Azul. And that's it. Well, we have the Blanton's Gold. And we have Blanton's Gold okay. back there. Blanton's Gold. Versus that. Ooh. I know this is a hard one for you. Take your time. Take a deep breath. It's a hard decision. Okay. Okay. So. I'm, re I'm ready. Can I have two choices? I don't know what that means, but sure. Okay. Go ahead. So. Two choices? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. Okay. So. All right. Remember. I'm remembering. We could probably buy seven Glace Azuls with one Blatton's Gold. Okay, so we can't really compare these. We really can't. So we need to we need to we do need to up the it top up to the, the top. Yeah, we need to take 
Whoa, did you hear that? <laughs> what the hell did you just do? Let me see. What the f- What did you just do? No, <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, wait. You heard a bell, right? I heard a damn bell. What the Dude, how did you do that? What did you I don't do? Know. What did you do? I don't know, bro, but I heard a freaking bell. You heard it, right? All I did was just tap it, and it was... I heard a bing. bell. I did not hear that again. So, anyways. The ultimate winner wow. for tonight, Clase Azul. For sure. I, I, I think it's, it's, it's probably the best tequila out of the ones that we had. And it's kind of hard because Terramana was very good, but it's good. a $50 tequila. And you know it's, what? Once you compare it to the hundred and some dollar tequila... You could tell it was a fifty dollar tequila. Sure, right? I, I agree with you on that. Yeah. Wow. I'm kind of I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of surprised, Carlos. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm, because I'm, I thought Don I really thought that the Don Julio would be better, but it's not. It this one is. I would I would take this every day over the Don Julio 1942, and price point wise. It's, it's like very similar. Very similar. The flavor profile on mm. this Clase Azul is so much better. Wow. So, for all of you saying <laughs> it was my ring, wedding ring, that was on the left. I tapped with the right. He tapped the with right. the right. Yeah. Vibrator. I know. I saw, oh. the, vi- I, I saw the vibrator oh, coming. That's what I was choking on my tequila hey. for. All right. I don't know. No, no vibrators going on over here. Nope, nope, not not during this show. Hell no. <laughs> there are other shows that maybe the vibrators are happening, but hell no on this show. All right. Veronica said it was your wedding ring, Papa. Mama. Mama? No. My wedding ring. So, right no. hand. Yeah, I, I tap with the right. I usually tap with the right. You know that. Tap, tap, tap a boo. Yeah, you know. Who's that from? That was from Adam uh, Adam Sandler, right? What was that? that movie? Man. So we took down our favorite tequila. We did it today. I'm kind of depressed. I am too. No, I'm kind of depressed. I'm I'm v- Am I dis- I don't know if I'm disappointed. K okay, okay, Vincent. Okay, so we have vibrators and now K is talking about penis bottle. The penis bottle? Does yeah, that look like a penis bottle? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I've never seen. If your penis looks like this, is man, it, you got some issues. Yeah, there's some problems there. <laughs> yeah. That's a that's a weird looking penis. Yeah. That's a that's a hell of a tip. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm done. How, how the hell did I that thought, happen, bro? I, you heard it. I heard it. I heard a bell. I, I heard, heard a bell. You. Look at that. Oh, you did it! So this time I did it. Did I do it with my left? And you I did not. The... You did not. I did not. No, right? you did not. We're gonna rewind back. So let me see. No, you All did right. not do it with that hand. I'm telling you. Melinda Ninja. That's exactly what he said. Just the tip. All right. Okay. So the azul. What is it called? What the hell are we drinking? Classe azul. Classe. Class Azul. So for class, that hasn't seen it. Class Here Azul. We Here we go. Blue, right? Class yeah. Azul is blue. Blue yep. is Azul. Yep. I would say that this is the best of the night out of Terramana and Don Julio 1942. Yeah. Definitely. Wow. But now we got to finish our 1942. John said it's the Class A, not Glass A, right? Hmm? It's not G, right? It's, a, it's C, no, it's L? Class A. Class A Azul. With the, with yeah. the C. C. John, <laughs> you will not be disappointed if you try the Clase Azul Reposado. Stacy said that you did it with her right hand. Yeah, that's what that's I what thought. I, I I watched you, literally watched you I did tap, 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 tap a roo with your right hand. And it rang like a bell. Right. Did everybody hear that? Did we are we imagining this shit? Because I know that we are no. how many drinks deep? I don't we know, are I mean, a lot of drinks deep. I know we're faded, but I'm faded. I did hear it. You love that word, faded. That's, that's your word, that's your bro. word. 
when, more, when we are feeling really that. good, yeah, you are I'm faded. You are faded. Yeah. I'm trash. That's what I say. Yeah, you're trash. trashed. I'm faded. Faded. Okay, okay. fair enough. So we have trashed, faded. Josh said you guys really need to try Freedom Whiskey. My okay. Veteran-owned veteran company. company. Ooh. Okay, we like All that. Right. We're going to try that out, All right. Josh. Freedom Whiskey. But you know what? I've never seen that at I've the stores. I've never seen it. Josh, I don't think we get it here, man. I'm not going to lie. I don't think we get Freedom Whiskey here. Do you want our addresses? I don't know. I mean, you might mm-hmm. have to send it cause, or yeah. we pay them or something because I've never seen it here at the stores. We've, we've looked very hard for a lot of whiskeys, and I've never seen yeah. that. Crystal says we are being borrachos, so we're drunk. Borrachos. Yeah. Is that what that means? Borrachos? Yeah, drunks? Yeah. Borrachos. Yeah, drunk. Fair enough. I would, yeah. I would, I would uh, agree I'm with like that. I'm like a hop and a skip away from borracho. I, okay. <laughs> let, let me ask you this, Carlos. Yes, of all the years... A couple of years now. Yes. We've known each other. You've never said borrachos to me. I Drunks. have not. How, you know what how? we always say? What? We always call each other enfermeras. Enfermeras. Yes. Cause Which is nurses. With, yeah, we're nursing oh, our I, drinks. I, so we, call by the time friends. we're borracho, we're both happy, so we don't really give a crap. <laughs> that is true. I, I'm probably borracho right now. Huh? Yeah. I'm probably borracho. Yeah. I'm faded. Oh, yeah. Trash. I feel great. Yeah. And we're with our peeps. Uh, Kay said new drinking. Cheers. Yeah, cheers, guys. Kay what said new. What the hell are you doing with that thing in your hand, bro? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What's up, bro? That was a good one. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta admit, that was a good yeah, one. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even right now. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. We're back to the big boy glasses. Bro, I'm heartbroken today. Hey, Melinda said my twin is on. I my We have to pause on. for a minute. All right. My twin, if he's on, I miss you. I miss you. Where is he? Oh. My twin, please, please comment because I don't see my twin. I want to see the twin. Dude, he's a he's like a so, six foot four Irish on, guy with a beard. Do I have another broham somewhere or what? This is my boy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hey. So I want to meet the other boy because this is the other boy. He's he's like a six foot four. Yeah. Mass like massive, totally tatted, head to toe. That sounds like my boy. Hold on. Cheekies. He. There he is. He misses me. Look at. Oh man, I miss this guy. Oh. Hey. Dude, totally tatted Irish guy, red beard, red hair, doesn't yeah. look anything like me. Yeah. But when we are out together, we tell everybody that we are twins. Yeah. Swear to God. So we'll walk into it. So we, I can't we'll tell walk... my boy Cheeky's that. You know why? Yes, you can. No, I can't, bro. Because that dude's like white like you and, you know, I'm a Mexican. I'm... Um, If you would see, hold on. I'm going to bring up Sean. Hold on. What's okay. up, Sean? Sean, what's up, buddy, man? Look, nope, that's not him. That's, what is, dude, what is with your profile? Holy shit. I can't, oh my God. All right. There, there's Sean. There's Sean. Big, bearded, old t- big old Irish bearded tatted guy. That's like my. Uh, and he's my twin. And we, we, every time that we go to a bar and and anytime that we're together, we're at a bar. Let's just make that clear. Okay. Right. All right. We tell people we're, we're twins and we look at them with a straight face and we just literally say, this is my twin. And they look look at us like. That's like Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito. And twins. Yeah. Twins. And they, like, they're like, are you serious? We're like, yeah, man. Yeah. (laughs) We're twins. It's so funny. So, anyways, so Sean's a good dude, man. Freedom whiskey. And Sean, Lizard. I miss you, man, for real. What? Crystal tried freedom whiskey and wasn't really fond of it. All right, oh. we got to do a tester, though. Okay. We're big veteran. We, we support are. We, the veterans. We support the veterans. Yes, yes, we love. Hair we love whiskey Mer- winning. Yeah, we love America. We do. We do. We're gonna have to try it out. We will. But I don't. I don't want to try it out and it suck. That's the, I know. So we'll, we're going to do it in private, and then we'll comment about it. How we'll about comment that? comment about it. Yeah. 
I like the cheap fireball whiskey. Really? Oh, no. No. Okay. Okay, come on, man. Come on. We, really? We, uh, we support you, Kay. We like you, Kay, but fireball whiskey? Yeah. Ooh. You know that stuff has antifreeze in it, right? Get out of here. Yeah, it's the same shit. It's an antifreeze. Same chemicals. So for all of you, okay, shall we? Hmm? Shall what? we introduce them to the cinnamon that we just have? No, can't do that. No, we can't? No. All right, we're not. We can't do that now because we're going to do that next week. Okay, we next week it's going to come out. Next week okay. is some hella good whiskey. All right. Josh Martin said, I can send you a bottle. All right, man, send it our way. We send are going to try it out. We got our, our live of audience. We got Ninja Spencatero and Br Mama B Spencatero in the house. They're sneaking behind us, getting nice. Oh, fireball. Yeah. Man, that just, that stuff just, uh, yeah. It makes my stomach hurt thinking about it. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Hey, but you know what? Da that Damian fireball came. Made a stamp and just hey, killed it. Damien said fireball is a good golf shot. Golf shot. Well, that's what I would call fireball is a shot. If you're... Just a shot. Well, I, that's the only way I would drink it. But yeah. I'm saying I, it's not something that, uh, that I normally drink. It's no, I... No. 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 Fireball. Yeah. It's the cinnamon vanilla. K. Vincent. K. We have a whiskey for you, but yeah. not, not this week. This week is tequila time. Yeah, okay. We're going to talk next week about... Bro, I, I totally can't get over... Hmm? I can't get over the fact that we no. took Don Julio off the top. It's, uh, it's a very sad day. It is. Especially for day. you. You're a tequila guy. I'm oh. not a tequila guy. Yeah, oh, so. I'm not. Man, all I've been talking about... Your Clase about Azul now I overtook... Am. The oh, 1942. 1942. Yeah. It is better. It is better. In every aspect of tequila. Flavor. Smoothness. Smoothness. It's better. Man. The kid mm. made $30. What? Mm -hmm. He totally killed it. 50 cents each a car. Fist bump. Look at that. Wow. All right. For all of you that don't know, we have a big extended family, and it's called the Spencateros. It is the Spencers and the Lucateros mixed in together. We are just a big, happy family. Ain't that right? Oh, hell yeah, we're a happy family. Cheers. Cheers, bro. Okay, so this ice cube, not a good ice cube. There was soap and there was definitely soap left in my... Soap? Yeah. And where? I taste, in the ice cube, I taste soap. Yeah. Really? It sucks. Okay, K. Vincent. Still know. romance tequila the best. Really? Romance tequila? You ever heard of it? No, I have not heard of that. I mean, What's it taste like? you are Mexican. I you am never a heard Mexican. Of romance well, tequila? Well, well, let's hold on, bro. Okay. Let's, let's just get this straight. Fair enough. We have Don Julio, Terramana, Clase Mexican. Azul, and then romance? A Mexican would not taste romance tequila. Right. I'm just saying. I'm We're, just saying. Hold on. I'm looking up romance. Yeah, romance. Okay. All right. Crystal, got to go. Do says Crystal. Thank you for joining us. Romance tequila. I'm looking this up. Shopping. You want a quesadilla? It's... Oh. That's Casino Azul, bro. Look. Glass Azul right there. I don't yeah, even see. Like I don't see. Like I don't see it. I don't, I'm not sure what she's talking about. Malagro tequila romance. Huh? Malagro tequila romance. Okay. So Malagro. Malagro. M I L A G R O. Um. It's dark and light, insane bottle. Yeah, we're going to have to, I don't know. I, don't, I can't find it. All right. We're going to have to try it out. So anyways. All right, that'll be for like episode number 15, what? 16. Yeah, we'll see. 25. Yeah. 20, yeah. 76. 
probably. One hundred. <laughs> One hundred. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Live audience. Live audience. Where's the fake laughs in the back? <laughs> All right, I think we should wrap this up. Wrap it up. All right, guys. That's not hey. What she said. Mm-hmm. I well, you don't want to. Wrap it up. No, well, <laughs> we definitely don't. Stacy said, "You guys made my day. Glad, right. glad, glad we made your day." All right. Deuces. See you guys. We're done. Have a good rest of the evening. It's been uh, a great show. It's been fun. Yeah. Till next fun. week, 7 p.m. Central. Whiskey Ooh, winning episode number nine. Hit the click. Deuces. What do you do? No, hold on. Oh, subscribe, subscribe, share, follow, and follow. Yes. And deuces. Love you guys. Deuces. See you guys. Love you guys. <laughs> Let's check those liver enzymes. <laughs> yeah, they're probably messed.